Hey guys, what is up? Ioki here before I give you some more high elo gameplay. Uh, just like my last couple of videos, I do want to apologize because I'm very, very stuffed up. Uh, I've got two stints in my nose because I had surgery a couple days ago. But uh, good news, we take those stints out tomorrow. So this should hopefully be the last video that I sound like this. But uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'm starting to feel more like myself, having a little bit more energy, and uh, you know that means it's time to get back to the grind. And uh, we're we're playing currently. I think we're one game away from Grandmaster. We're somewhere around like 320 LP, something like that. My team's already trying to tilt each other, so we're just going to mute everybody up. But uh, I have been seeing a lot of really really good Karma results recently, uh, so I figured I would make a video on it and show you guys. I, th I think Karma is probably the best uh, enchanter in the entire game right now. She's just like incredibly incredibly versatile. Uh, she's good if you win lane. She's good if you're in a bad matchup. She scales super well, and most importantly, she pairs super super well with Jinx. Uh, Jinx is a god tier one v nine champion right now. Uh, she feels like she outscales everybody super, super hard. And she, of course, is in a mobile ADC that does really, really well with Enchanters backing her up. So we are against a LeBlanc Bard bot lane. Now, the only way we lose this is if we get hardcore cheese. What's interesting is that we're actually against Joshi, who I know is a uh, high elo um, Jinx one trick. So I'm wondering if we took away her Jinx, which is why she is playing LeBlanc. Like, is LeBlanc like some sort of like five head Jinx counter in the bot lane? Let's find out together. Interesting start by the Bard as well. Went W and just like spammed these healing tribes. I guess because he knew we were going to poke them level one. Uh, their jungler is Lee Sid, so I'm not crazy about, like, walking up. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna approach this lane, like, pretty cautiously, because I, mostly just because, like, I don't really know the, uh, potential of LeBlanc ADC super well. So we're just gonna kind of chill, and the nice thing about locking in Karma is that you do outscale, like, pretty much every champion in the game. Uh, they've got some champions that fall off pretty hard. Lee Sin, Pantheon, not really Aurelia, but sort of Aurelia. I would say, like, Adivia is harder scaler than Aurelia. Just gonna kind of be fighting with our wave here. Uh -oh. I'm just gonna drop the exhaust just in case she goes in. Because, again, I'm not super familiar with the, uh, the cooldowns of LeBlanc. So just playing it safe. They have a double ignite as well. We did just pull out one of their ignites, but... So I've won. Haven't seen Lee Sen. It's 3.30 and Bard's walking up, which makes me think that Lee Sen's down here. Although it could just be bluffing, I suppose. Nope, he's top. Who's bluffing? Tridomir's dead. They're going to dive him. Oh my gosh, that's tragic. One more shot, you would have had it. Should always be looking for... Uh, you know, when the next jungler gank is coming, usually around like 320. Uh, I'm just gonna. Oh my gosh. The double ward synergy. Uh, Bard could be roaming up on this. As enchanters, you usually don't want to be in lane alone. Want to try to sink your backs with your, uh, your ADC. Bard is bot. Might be able to path mid here, get something done, but we have an Anivia and gets an Aurelia with an XP lead and a CS lead. So it's like, nothing's probably going to happen here, but I can try. Honestly, we, we probably don't have the damage to do anything. Unless she dives, which she's not. I just wanted to hover just in case she did. Ah. Thinking I might be safe there. Okay. Ah oh, man, try it. I'm just gonna go ahead and take my back. Uh, I use both my refills. It's pointless to like walk back through here and get caught by a bard and Leeson. But we are going to mark that down as bard's flash. He doesn't have flash for t until ten minutes. 
Yo, guys, if you guys made it, have made it this far to the video, like, definitely let me know down in the comments if you guys are enjoying these types of videos. These, like, try-hard, high-elo type grinds where, like, not, like, troll building or, you know, playing with the homies, just, like, actually trying to uh, grind a challenger. So I've been really, really enjoying them lately, and I think you guys are enjoying them too, but just let me know. That's looking pretty good. Uh, Don't actually know where Bard is. Or Lee said are, so I can't rotate up on that. They might actually be on the dragon right now. That's a Aurelia flash, so we'll go ahead and mark her down for like 1040. Don't know where Bard's at. Again, against the Bard. Okay, Bard's in lane. Against the Bard, you kind of just need to like understand that he has that advantage over you. I, I can't match his roams, and I definitely can't like get there before him. So like he walks into the river, he's he could never be caught because he could just tunnel out, right? I walk into the river and I either have to flash over the wall or die. Uh, they're not on the dragon, but like they're doing something weird over there. Whenever you think that there's going to be action in the river, you should always try to like get prio in your lane. He's holding his tunnel, which makes me think that like Lee Sen's coming. Nice. I guess Bard just like ha oh. To tank this. Oh my gosh, we played that so well. I could have tanked it one more shot, but other than that, we played it really, really well, and I'm happy with that. We get Dragon off that. I guess Bard just like hardcore greeted his flash. Okay, Lisa's top. This Trader is probably dead. Yeah, he's dead. He's not. No, he's dead. Oh my gosh, he's not dead. Yo, this Shredder Bear is a god, actually. Alright, I think we're kind of like greeting for the red instead of doing the objective. Ah, oh, he is dead. Wait, he, he had to have greeted. Okay, he greeted. He tried to get a kill instead of just like running back. Man, if he had just ran back to his turret, that was like actually such a big win for us. Uh, Nivea protecting red, but like, it's not there. All right, I'm full build, guys. I got my tier two boots. We're going to pass straight mid. This game's looking pretty good. Uh, our ADC scales harder, and she has an early lead. Their bot lane seems pretty dysfunctional. They're a team that, like, operates pretty much solely on, like, diving and cheesing. And I think we've got some champions that deal pretty well, uh, pretty well with that. Like Karma and Anivia. Okay, they have to be on this, but I'm not going to face check this and I don't have a ward, so I'm just gonna wait for my dude to walk up. Wow. So they were on it because it's aggroed, but they pulled off it. Interesting. This is a really nice timing for us. Dude, how insane is that? That she still killed her there. Oh, no, no, we should leave that. We should leave that. Man, I gave him a mantra shield and she was exhausted and she still killed him. Like, how nuts. All right, top is just kind of getting like the short end of the stick this game, unfortunately. He's getting like hardcore dove and like camped. I'm sure he's not very happy in chat right now, but can't do anything about it. I'm going to uh, help my ADC get this shoved in, maybe get a plate or two. So Bard is mid. I'd be really careful about making a play up there. Bard can come, and I'm obviously not in a position to come. Okay, it's Wonks W. Ooh. Yeah, but the slow should be in risk of dying here. Yeah, I, that's, that's what I mean. Like I, He shouldn't have gone up there. It's like such a bad play to make. At least he gets the one for one, though. Uh, Lee Sin's play is probably on this blue, so I'm going to go over there and see if we can stop that. Bard's not with him, which makes you think he's, he's not on the blue. Okay, he's not on the blue. Nice. Need to be careful about walking back to river here, but Bard's not with him. Okay, okay, okay. Bard's top. Bard's top. I, I just don't want to match that roam. Like, I don't want to go there. 
I want to stay bot and keep collecting these plates. Blanc's kind of a spooky champion. Yeah, Bard's top. I mean, we knew he was top. Hopefully he gets out, but even if he doesn't, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, he's not looking like he's getting out. You get all these plates, though. It's your W. Yeah, we're just gonna have to give that. I mean, Bard is roaming top, so it's like we just have to give that objective. I think this is the wrong one. Nope. Jinx is smarter than me, boys. All right, I'm gonna let them slip that goal without taking a cut. We're gonna go back. Uh, Shirelia's battle song is really good. I don't really have like a super beefy front line, so I don't like going uh, Moonstone. So yeah, Shirelia's is probably the play. Just make everybody super fast. Wait, Anivia kills them here. <laughs> Dude, Anivia players are like a different breed, I'm pretty sure. Like just genetically, they're just... There's something in their genetic code that just makes them really good. Watch I say that. Now, like, this Anivia will throw the entire game for us. All right, we want to be taking our reset somewhere around now. I just want to be dropping a bunch of wards of the resetting, I think. Like, if I can drop all my wards, clear out some vision. Deny their vision, get a reset now, and I'm back into the dragon with a full set of wards. Like, this is a really, really good reset. We see them over here. We see them over here. And I'm not going to be late to the dragon. Uh, we probably want to walk through mid and get prio, though. I'm a little afraid of Jinx being in Aurelia's face. You just never know what that champion can do. All right. Uh, Pantheon top. He's not coming. That's good. Oh, my God. Aurelia... Or Anivia players, man. Yeah, I mean, and as long as, like, Pantheon doesn't solo carry this game, I think we're looking good, honestly. They still have Rift Herald, so they might use that to crack top. Their game plan is probably use Rift Herald top, uh, break tier 2, and then... Uh, like 4v5 us the rest of the map with Pantheon just like ulting onto every fight while trying to to catch waves. Like that's, if, if I was in like a competitive setting, that's what I would be wanting to do. We just have to know that's coming, but they haven't dropped Rift Herald yet. We need to like actually hardcore be respecting Pantheon. He's for sure a one-shotting tanky machine right now. Building really tanky at the moment. I don't have my mantra actually. Rule of thumb on karma. You should be using mantra Q in every single uh Mantra Q in every trade and lane, and then mantra shield for every team fight like this. Uh I almost actually screwed my team over, by the way. Um by going for a really greedy Mantra Q, which basically did nothing on Lee Sin, uh, I didn't have Mantra E for my Jinx. Or myself. Yeah, like, I, like if, if that went, like, slightly different. I did Flash Exhaust to hopefully save the Jinx, which I think I helped a lot. But. Yeah, I mean, we, we had, like, a pretty good read on, like, what they were going to try to do here. I'm just going to save my Mantra. I'm not going to greet it anymore. That could have been disastrous. Uh, this could also be disastrous. Yeah, yeah, we're feeding shutdowns here. That guy's dead. I can't rotate. Do we get a turret, though? This guy, I mean, this guy dies for sure, right? There's no way he actually gets out long term. 
Yeah, there it is. Maybe if he kept running this way, he could have gotten out there. Sorry, wasted a lot of their time, though. I was... I just noticed they have four ignites, bro. They, like, were hardcore banking on winning early. But we won early. Oh, four runes, by the way. I got Arcade Comet, Mana Flow, Transcendence, Gathering Storm, so I'm super scaling. Biscuit Delivery, Cosmic Insight, and then uh, AP Armor MR. See, Lee said. I don't know who put that word there. It's a good word, though. Jinx. I really just want to like want to play for dragon. If we can get this soul, this soul is so freaking good on Jinx. About 300 out from Shirelia's. I'm just gonna shield her because she's face checking. I'm scared for her life. Two hundred gold out. See Pantheon here. He knows I see him. Huh? Yeah. I uh. Okay. So. I don't know. Was that my fault? They get the shutdown on Jinx, it's really bad. Boom! Oh, he flashed it, rip. Yeah, this is really bad. I, I, oh god. Like, hardcore feeding them shutdowns. It's good, good flash by Jinx. But once again, uh, I used my Mantra Q there. Just because I'm pretty sure he himself would never have enough damage to break this guy. Maybe Mantra E gets us out there. Probably not, though. It's fine. They just used a lot. They used a lot right before the dragon. And Trendomir is hopefully like, getting a little bit back into the game. I, I, I guess the best thing I could have done, honestly, is just like... Ping him away from the Pantheon. Say, like, don't go for it. We need to escort our Jinx into this dragon, though. They might just be training Dragon and dropping Rift Herald somewhere else. Okay, at least it's super far. We should get this. Playing with my Jinx. Got this guy. Nice. Shield him. Got Sh Mantra in a couple seconds. Definitely not going through there. Oh my god. That may have been the worst Tredomir play I've seen in like six months. It's pretty hard to mess up on that champion, but if you do, that's what it looks like. Just play for Jinx, guys. Just play for Jinx. Like literally, if we give this thousand gold shutdown, the game's probably over. Like unironically. Like don't dive, just peel Jinx. He's so big. Way too risky to sit and like clear those wards. Uh oh. Oh, I guess I'm dead. I mean, if I just finished my back, she freaked me out. She freaked. If I just finished my back there, I actually get out. But she, <laughs> she pinged me, <laughs> spooked me. Sorry, I'm making a lot of silly mistakes this game. All right, we're going to have to try to stop that at tier three. I mean, tr dude, Trendomir is like griefing. Like, what is he doing? He 
doesn't even have ulti. He's just like walking up to him, giving him a kiss. They rotate to this. Guess we can't. Okay. It's looking pretty bad. We're like, uh, man, if we if we could just like play to our jinx, this game would be like so much better. Holy God. Oh, I, I could have flashed that. I didn't even think that he saw where I was. Yeah, this game's falling apart, isn't it? Oh, Jinx just skill force in. Okay, we lose now. We're, we're going to lose now. She just skill force in for no reason. Everyone's just kind of trolling now. All right, we just lost a thousand gold and we're going to lose Baron. Yeah, I think we're... We either lose this game or, like, we need to come back. We do have three dragons. I guess we shouldn't give up. But, man, everyone's just trolling. Myself included. Do we have a vision for this? Yeah, we did lose Baron, thankfully. Nice. Like, we have a pretty, like, obvious win con, but we're just, like, not playing to it. We're never going to catch this LeBlanc, guys. Uh, we're losing 2v1s too. Rip. Okay, that was Aurelius Flash, I think. I mean, you gotta go for it, bro. I mean, can we, j can we just, like, three-man Baron? Oh, we got one. It's not bad. We're, uh, we're gonna be on Vision. There's no way we can three-man this. <laughs> Yo, this game had like such a clearly defined win con. Now it's uh, kind of just up in the air. Uh, can we fight for this maybe? Jinx has all summoners. I have four more wards. Okay, I mean, I think it's better. I think I think it's literally just like better if I take the Pantheon combo. Is he gonna one shot her too, though? Oh my God! Nice, ah, she's still alive. Okay, okay. He doesn't have smite. Doesn't matter. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we back in this. All right, I think I think the play here is literally for me to just like buy a stopwatch. Oh, he doesn't have smite for a minute. Do we do this? Buy a stopwatch and literally just like soak the pantheon alt or soak the pantheon uh combo. Oh god, this is so uh sketch. Good flash. Okay. Save Trendemir with my shield. Nice, nice, nice. Let's get out of here. Okay, let's go, boys. Yep. Greeted. Trying to save our teammates. We just leave the Vanivia, I guess. Uh, do we- oh, man, we just got Baron and Soul, and it's like... We're still gonna lose Inhib. <laughs> I should have mantra the wave, but... It helped. Still lose this. Dude, their, tr their Pantheon being so far ahead is just like, makes the game really hard. 
The only person that could actually like proc uh, our soul is Jake's. <laughs> yeah, we, it's, it's still bad. It's still good. It's still good. Like we can just five man with Baron and Soul. Uh, I think we go back and escort Jinx, honestly. Oh. Big, big catch, bro. Huge catch, actually. Such a greedy back by Lee. I think we take this all the way to Inhib for sure. Got him rooted. Oh my god, I think Bard just saved uh, Tridomir. <laughs> Wait, I think we win the game off that. I have stopwatch. I'm just going to like hardcore frontline. Just get in their faces. All right, dude, what a disastrous game. I made a lot of goofy mistakes, but I think everybody did. Okay, we're egoing. Can we just hit the Nexus, please? Thank you, GG. Really weird game. Uh, I made a lot of mistakes, but uh, everyone did. So it be what it be. There's there's some high elo karma gameplay for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And be sure to let me know down in the comments uh, if you guys are enjoying these high elo games. And uh, yeah, there's our damage chart. Boom. Ally shielding. Boom. Huge. Uh, hope you, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Take it easy, boys. Peace. Uh.